But you guys got another video here for you. Can you still use Windows 7 in 2024? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. I'm going to install Windows 7 here. Now, I understand a lot of people still like Windows 7. It's probably one of the favorite operating systems of all time when it comes to uh, Windows operating systems, that is. But is it a good idea to be using it in 2024? And what sort of things do you have to do to get it installed onto a system? Well, you have to jump through quite a few hoops. You're going to have to install an absolute bucket load of updates through the Windows update. And there's also going to be a ton of updates that you're going to have to install manually from the Microsoft catalog and uh, basically download these manually. I will list all these in the video description if you're interested in doing this. Personally, I wouldn't waste your time on it because, uh, to be honest, I found Windows 7 really slow and sluggish, and that's only because when you've been using a modern day system for a while, you start to realize how slow Windows 7 actually is. The browsing experience is a lot slower, and also the updates just took a, an absolute age. It really did. Now, I know once you get this fully updated, you're not going to receive any more uh, security updates on it or anything like that because the operating system is end of life so should you be updating uh, this to the maximum and using it in 2024 that's what we'll talk about as well in the video so you can see already i'm starting to run into some errors and this is pretty normal uh, the browser's outdated so you're going to have to get this installed so let me go ahead and try to get google chrome on here and then basically we'll do some updates now during the update process uh, Microsoft Edge will get installed on here as well. So I'm just going to accept all here and get this onto the system and then download Google Chrome and get that installed so we can go ahead and go to the Microsoft catalog and install a bunch of different updates that you're going to need before you can even start using the Windows updates itself. Now I'm not going to go through every single update here because I'm pretty sure you've got better things to do with your time than sit here watching me update windows 7 because i believe you me it's not as simple as it is on windows 10 or even windows 11 so that's the first thing why would you be using windows 7 in 2024 when you can still use windows 10 now the only real reason for people that want to use windows 7 is probably the i.e the lack of telemetry uh, what they would call privacy concerns Another thing would be your hardware is not compatible with Windows 10 and you have to use Windows 7. And also there's that other thing, which is you may have to run certain software, uh, which is only compatible on Windows 7 and not Windows uh, 10. So there is that option there. And these are the things, the reasons why people are probably staying with Windows 7. Now, remember, there is options available. You do have Linux operating systems that are available to you which will run perfectly fine on your old system if you have a really old computer so first off what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to download uh, some updates uh, from the microsoft update uh, catalog here so all the ones i've listed on the screen are the ones i'm going to be downloading from the microsoft update catalog and i'm going to install these one at a time and these should be installed on the system straight away and once we've got these installed we should be able to then update another thing you're going to have to do if you want to install windows 7 on your system you're going to need to make sure you install all of the latest uh, driver updates for your computer now this is on a virtual machine so it shouldn't have too much problem getting this installed but it's important that you need to go and get all of the latest updates uh, from your motherboard manufacturer's website and download those uh, as long as they are compatible with Windows 7 that's what you need to download and get them installed on the computer once that's all done you should then be able to continue with your Windows updates so I'm going to go ahead and get those files downloaded and installed on the system as you can see here I'm now going to sign back in and what I'm going to do is go back into the update system and now start to do windows updates and hopefully they will start to come down because that error code should be gone so let's go ahead and we'll go back into the control panel and we're going to go back into windows updates here and we're going to go ahead and check for updates and hopefully these will start to come down now you may get a massive long delay here for some reason microsoft have really slowed this process up 
And again, I'm just going to install all of these updates via this method here. If you're a GNOME user, this is the way you're going to be updating Windows. If you work in a business environment, you're probably going to be doing this in a different way uh, to what you're seeing right here. But that's for another video. But for home users, this is the way you're going to go ahead and do it. Now, for all those people that are using the unofficial way of doing this, I wouldn't recommend doing any of that sort of stuff. Again, that Windows 7 uh, is end of life, which means you will not receive any more security updates from Microsoft. And that is it. It's pretty much a dead OS. And even if you get this fully patched with all of the updates through the Microsoft Office update catalog, and even if you do all of that, there's still going to be a lot of holes in the operating system that aren't getting patched anymore because Microsoft are not continuing to support this operating system because it's dead. It's end of life. And you can see we've got all the updates installed here and I've saved you the pain of the constant reboots and installing updates. And let me tell you, there's just literally hundreds of them. It's just an absolute nightmare to get all these on the system. Now, once you've done all of this, you are going to get nagged to update to Windows 10. It's going to tell you that you're using an unsupported operating system right here. Your Windows 7 PC is out of support. That means it's not getting supported. You're not getting any security updates, no software updates, and no tech support. You're not getting any of that stuff. And that's the big problem with this operating system. And I know a lot of people think they're clued up and they're clever and they can uh, be very careful. And yes, you it's not you. It's the actual operating system. When you're not receiving any security patches for it, it just means it's going to have more roles than Swiss cheese in it. So you've got to be very careful. And these are not getting updated or patched. And that means all your browser software is going to be outdated. All of the software you're using on here probably is going to be unsupported. And this is a major problem uh, for using this operating system. You're better off to download a version of Linux, installing it on that system and using the operating system that is getting fully updated and supported rather than using an unsupported operating system like Windows 7. And again, when it comes to Windows 10, that's on a very limited lifespan as well up until uh, October next year. And yes, again, Microsoft are offering a free year extended update policy, but you're going to have to pay for it and it's just not worth it. So you may as well, uh, you know, get yourself a more modern computer because at the end of the day, who wants to pay for Windows updates? I don't think anyone does. And of course, uh, and that's uh, what the problem is with these operating systems that are sort of running out of life cycle. This one is completely end of life cycle and it's absolutely dead in the water, which means it's really risky running it. Now, Windows 7 was super easy to infect in any case. So it's not as if you are immune to malware because you're more vulnerable to malware using Windows 7 than you are Windows 10 or even Windows 11. So there is that argument there as well. Now, you may be saying, I only do a little light browsing and that's all I do. So why would I need to worry? I don't do any banking or anything like that. Well, if it's on your local network, it means you can, they can gain access to your network, which is then obviously a security risk. So you really don't want to be using stuff like this unless you really, really have to. And if you are going to be using something like this, then you need to make sure that you are using a firewall and an antivirus and, you know, patching it fully to the maximum as much as you can get installed on this system to fully patch it up to date with all the latest security updates, including the extended security updates, if you can get them and install them. These are the ones that you need to get installed because these are ones that patched a lot of security vulnerabilities in uh, Windows 7. And there's loads more of these you're going to have to download from uh, the catalog site here. And I'll leave these all on my website where you can see what you'll need to download. Now, you could use this for browsing uh, with the browser here. You can see we're running 4K stream here on YouTube. It works OK. There's no stuttering or anything like that. And again, it's still usable. But the problem is without the security updates from Microsoft, you are left sort of vulnerable. Now, there, are, like I said, there is other alternatives out there, which we're not going to be going into in this video. But you will definitely need some sort of antivirus software on here. Kaspersky free version is probably one of the best ones that you could put on here. And again, once you've done that, you'll need a firewall and you can use something like Zone Alarm free as well. Both of these are free and they should keep you somewhat protected 
uh, to a degree. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you're fully patched and fully updated because obviously it's not receiving any more security updates. But you should have installed a ton of security updates at this stage. And it has taken me quite a bit of time to get to this stage. And I've still got quite a few uh, to install on here. So why people keep going on about Windows 7 and how great it is, it's dead, it's old, it's finished. Yes, it is a great operating system, but it's not usable anymore in 2024. You're going to have a heap of trouble with software games to get them running and all that sort of stuff because it's old and obsolete. And a lot of that stuff is not supported anymore. And a lot of software manufacturers are moving away from Windows 7 because of the end of life. And there's only going to be a matter of time before even antivirus companies will stop supporting the Windows 7 versions. Now, I understand there's a bit of nostalgia to uh, having Windows 7 and using it. But to be honest with you, you just got to get with the times. I mean, Windows 7 is done and dusted and people need to just get a grip with uh, moving forward. It's the same with Windows 10. People are clutching onto it as if it's the last operating system on the planet. There's Windows 11 and there is nothing wrong with Windows 11. So if you're still using these old operating systems, it's time to upgrade and move on and put the past operating systems behind you. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd be happy to read them. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.